All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are super interested, almost quite interested, to check out this video today. What are we checking out today? We are checking out quite interesting. Okay. <laughs> I know you just wanted to say that. We are checking out what do you need to be an Irish king? Ooh. Now this, I, I picked this video for a few reasons. One, Tell. it was on the docket. Anyways, we're going to get to it. But two, I'm curious. I am confident, that's the word, confident, that you probably already know this from all the books you've read how to deal with UK stuff. But Irish is different. Ireland, okay, Northern then, Ireland yes, is part yes, of the okay. UK, but... Great Britain? But this is Irish king. And they don't have a king. They had to have a king at some point? Well, yeah, in the past. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that's all you had to say. <laughs> So I gotta say, now isn't half of Ireland part of the UK? Isn't that the northern? Is? Thank you. So half and half. It's, it's not I just I assumed you would know. I'm sorry. Anyway. You know about it's half north and south. If it's not divided, I don't know the exact land area ratio. mass. But when you have north and south, the south isn't it typically okay? You have north until you're at that midpoint, and now you're in the south. No, southern it's part. not like that. Let's, Let's make the northern north be a, just a teeny tiny chunk at the top. It is. And everything else is south. Well, it's not necessarily south. It's just Ireland. The north part is I Northern Ireland. That's and I know I'm taking off a lot of people. I'm just making a joke. But anyways, I apologize. You know about seals that turn from women to seals. It's an Irish legend. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would have known. Now, isn't this something like in Scotland, if you want to, what is it? You have to be a landowner. And like, there's those like, those scams that you can go online right now, me here in America, and buy a parcel of land from Scotland for whatever. But you're not really getting land. You're just getting some lame certificate. Didn't we watch a video about that? Maybe. Anyways. I don't know what you need to be an Irish king. Maybe she's right. They don't exist, so that's probably... No, I'm not saying like they don't exist. That's not what you said. They don't I'm have those. saying right now. In other words, you said no. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't think... I, I, I don't know. Do you have to be know. a man? I wonder. Because then you could be an Irish queen if you're a woman. No, it's nowadays. It is going to be something ridiculous, though. It's going to be something ridiculous. I honestly think they're going to say something like, it's impossible. I don't know. There's going to be something. I don't know how the monarchy works there. But it's, it's going to be crazy. Because it's like, for at least to be the president in the United States, you have to be a United States, like you have to be born in the United States, a United States citizen, you have to be at least 35 years old. There are criteria there i could see this criteria like your ancestor had to be a potato farmer no i'm just kidding that's not it but wow <laughs> tater digger jeez louise i love tater tots they're so good <laughs> i love hash browns they're called Yummy. tots it those those are the Napoleon, first give me your tots that's the first two things you think of when you think of potatoes not french fries or chips or oh. i'm sorry crisps Anyways, we are driving everyone crazy. If you like our reaction anyway, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. Hash browns and tater tot. What about a good old fashioned baked potato don't. with all the fixings, okay. as some people say? It is so good if you do that with a sweet potato and then you add no. butter and brown sugar. No, if, if you mm. get the baked potato, like the regular one, no. and you get the butter, what? sour cream, chives, some bacon cheese and no. then like the outside will you stop the outside's got like that salt oh it's that's heavenly like a good, good you know old steakhouse. what it's just like a tater tot where the outside's like nice and <laughs> crunchy a tater tot is a small hash brown okay calm down here we tater tot Hence why I what said do you call an too. irishman with no nipples oh, um, the king. oh that's uh, richard harris of course in a man called oh, horse, God. Man oh, called horse. It's a great movie isn't it things. it seemed extreme when i first saw <laughs> that but now there's guys in camden town that have that done <laughs> yes <laughs> Yeah, that'd be an Edinburgh show now, wouldn't it? Yeah, part but of the festival. He it deserved works. ten times worse than that for writing MacArthur Park. Oh yes, cake left out. Yeah, in the someone rain. left the cake in the rain. Who cares? <laughs> My nan left the cake out in the rain. It would have absorbed all the rain. She made a very dry cake. <laughs> he didn't actually write, to be fair, to Richard Harris. It was written by Judy Webb, but he did oh. sing it. And he's guilty of that. But this question isn't about Richard Harris. This is about Irishmen with no nipples. Yeah, it's, it seems bizarre, but there is a real historical point of interest here. 
What could an Irishman never be if he had no nipples? King. Symmetric. We're going back to the past. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back into the past in Ireland. It's a very peculiar thing, but part of your way of showing loyalty to your sovereign, if you were an Irish subject in the ancient days of the Irish kings, was you had to suck their nipples. <laughs> right? So, and you may say, well, OK, but what? but what kind of person doesn't have nipples? There would be fights, contests, uh, uh, and people would apply, as it were, to be king of Ireland. And if they were found not suitable, they would have their nipples cut off, which meant they could never be King of Ireland. Sorry, they, they, they did it like Britain's Got Talent. Basically, yes. <laughs> This is how Britain's Got Talent should just tweak it so Wouldn't that it's it? the same. <laughs> it would be quite something. But there was Old Crochen Man, which is one of the what? peat bog discoveries. And he was so well preserved that when he was discovered, it wasn't archaeologists or museums or, or anthropologists who were got in touch with, it was the police. But in fact, it was, it was from between 300 odd to 100 odd BC that this person so had died. So the chances of so getting well preserved. You would but describe that as a cold case. No, yeah, you <laughs> would. The chances of getting a conviction. But, but he was so well preserved, people said, oh my God, you know, here's this recently yeah. killed body. But he was found with nipples pinched and cut off. So he appears to have been someone who, who basically was deprived ritually of his attribute of kingship before being killed. So there you are. That, that wow. seems to be the case. But there are extra points if you can tell me the national colour of Ireland. Well, this feels like a trap. It does indeed. <laughs> and that's the flag, but that's not Purple. necessarily an indication of what the national colour is. Blue. National colour. Blue is the oh. right yeah. answer. Get in. Very good. <laughs> well done. Yeah. The fact is, of course, it's changed now. Everybody thinks it's green, and green is where one paints themselves green in Chicago and New York for St. Patrick's Day. But St. Patrick's colour was blue, and it was known as St. Patrick's Blue. The coat of arms of Ireland, you may see, is a, is a shield of a harp against a ground of St. Patrick's Blue. And the Irish guards are distinct because of the blue in their bearskins. So blue was always really the colour of Ireland until really... It was in 1798 when they had one of their m many rebellions and green then became a symbol of Irish nationalism and sort of took over from blue. Sucking a king's nipples was a gesture of submission in no. ancient Ireland, so no. if you lost yours, you couldn't be king. No. Oh my gosh, that's so... No. no. That's so interesting. No. 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 I... No. Okay, mm -mm. I get that mm -mm. that's a, supposed to be like a submissive thing, but what if you're the king? Like, I don't want these guys' mouths all over my nipples. Nope. Or was it just the women? No. Nope. <laughs> it's a very seductive Do you know thing. any other words? No. no. That is a very seductive thing. You're like, hmm, king. Like, mm. <laughs> I don't think it's, I don't think it's always like just that. I think it's like... Like kissing the feet of the king. Like. Yes, but they said suck. They don't say, they didn't say kiss the nickel, nipple. They said suck. Does it have to be for like a certain amount of time? I mean, Five seconds. You know the rule. Get back over there. He's got two people. We can have two lines here. My gosh, my gosh. No. Come on. What if, what if, since it's ancient time, if he's like sweaty and like salty? No! Okay, whoa. No. The ears, I, I apologize for the sound. I got, I got a little invested. I'm Jeez, sorry. You like, no. Are you okay? I'm just thinking I like needed, one. Like, the room. like, there are different reasons people might do that. But two, <laughs> here's a man who, if it's ancient, Okay, if we're looking at 300 BC, 100 BC, we have not showered often. We are dirty. We are sweaty. Other people's nasty unbrushed teeth mouths have been there and you want me? No. Well, hopefully they're not sucking one second with their teeth. That's a little too far. I mean, the guy, he needs to have enough No, to I'm go just saying their whole everybody. mouth, like, hasn't been brushed. So, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many jokes. The thing that I find hilarious, because he said this was an old custom, right? The thing I find hilarious is whoever stopped it, it was probably like they told him what was going to happen, and everyone's in line. <laughs> and he's like, okay, let's take off that shirt. And the person's like, hold on, just, just hold on for a second. Why do we do this? And like, they start, why, 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 why? They come back like, uh -huh. can we stop? 
if you want. Okay, no more of this custom. And then, like, that would be so hilarious to find out that was the reason. And then, like, his son was like, no, Daddy! <laughs> That's not Irish. I was really looking forward to that. <laughs> Can we bring it back? No, no. Once this train's gone, it ain't coming back, pal. Ew, you have, like, all the people missing teeth? Like, mm, let me stop. <laughs> I really need to prove to you my loyalty. Fine, pay taxes or something. <laughs> if you like our reaction in a way, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That was hilarious. Once again, I've never guessed the answer to these questions. Not once, right? Not even close here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Bye.